once we have the geometry that we want, we need to start assembling the UVs and all of the pieces together in materials so that when we take these out to Substance Painter in the next course, everything will be just like we want it. So what I'm gonna do is take all of the gold pieces and put those together on one map. All of the gold pieces except the medallion. And so I'm talking about pieces like the pieces of the hinge, the hinges. And so we wanna take all of those and put them on one map. So there are several ways we can do this. We could, since these are all kind of the same pieces, we could UV one of these and then transfer that to others. And so, you know, go in and we can do an auto map. We could start stitching these together, move this over, come in here and stitch together these parts. And same thing over here. Okay, so you wanna do each individual one. I'm not gonna go through the step-by-step -step UVing of each of these little pieces, but the key thing to remember is do each one of these. So talking about the two top and bottom of the hinge, we're talking about this piece here, this piece, which you already have UVs from ZBrush, so that's good. And then if you have an armband, you can do the armband. And then we'll see if we have room. We may have room to actually even add the necklace in there as well. So let's skip ahead to where we've got all of the individual pieces uh, UV'd, okay? So you wanna go through each individual piece and UV it. We'll come right back here once we've got all those UVs and we'll assemble them into one map. So once you have your individual pieces uh, created, then you can lay them out onto this zero to one space. So you wanna have them all within this one square. And if you want to keep all of your UV shells together, based on the piece of geometry that they're part of, you can see the way they're separated here, then you can certainly scale everything down and place everything manually. So now what we can do is go ahead and start moving these into position into our zero to one space. And we are gonna have to scale everything down a little bit. You can also do this automatically, but I like to have a little bit more control over where all the pieces are. You can also turn on your checkerboard and that way you can see the density, the textile density there and so you can get things kind of the way you want them. Now for the necklace, I'm gonna make this a lot smaller than it needs to be, but I can just slide it up against the edge here and keep it kind of out of the way, still get a little bit of length on it, but it's not gonna be proportionally as long as it should be. We could cut it in half and, and make that happen if we wanted to. Okay, go ahead and pull this down here. And you know, a lot of these, for this particular instance, it doesn't matter that much. Here is our uh, armband and kind of put it up here. And then we can start to add our little hinge pieces. We'll scale those down a little bit because those I know that those are a little bit smaller in terms of the geometry. And this isn't gonna be the most optimized UV layout, but I do have everything separated by the object, actual object that it belongs to, and it's gonna work fine for our purposes. And then once you've got everything in there, if you see a lot of open space, like there's a lot of kind of open space here, you can go in and just kind of scale everything up. But I do want to try to maintain the same density. But in some cases, you can go in and, for instance, on the, the belt part and the necklace, those are maybe a little bit bigger. So we could try to come in here and kind of move these pieces over and just take up a little bit more of our space here. And when you've got a bunch of small pieces like this, don't be afraid to kind of plug those in gaps. We're using Painter, so it's really flexible in terms of the way that we lay out our UVs. We just wanna have them inside of our space. We don't wanna have any overlaps. You can see I can plug those right in there. And then for instance, if we knew we wanted to have a little bit more detail on the necklace, this would let us kind of take these necklace pieces and just scale them up a bit, right? So, and you could kind of, figure out how you want to fit them in there. But, so they get a little bit higher density of pixels there. All right, so once you've got it laid out, I always like to add a special material as I'm going through this. And so I'm gonna go in and to the Hypershade and I'm just gonna create a simple Lambert, all right? And I wanna take all those objects that I had selected and I wanna assign it to that Lambert. So in this case, it's our Lambert 4. And I'm actually gonna go ahead in that Lambert 4 and I want to change the color. This just helps me know kind of what 
UVs I've done so far, and also what objects are on the same UV map. And so this is how we're separating things out. When we go into Painter, all of these pieces are going to be on the same map, so we're going to be able to apply gold and, and paint on those. And so this is just kind of a temporary placeholder uh, material so that I can know what is actually assigned to what. And I also know that I've already done the pink parts because I've already added a material. And so the next thing that we want to do, once you've got the gold pieces laid out on your UVs, is we'll take a look at creating the same kind of thing for the wood, uh, some of the wood pieces, and also uh, some of the padding underneath. So we'll do that next.